Hello everybody, today I'm going to be replacing the EGR actuator. If you want to know the reason why I'm going to replace the EGR actuator, you can check my video in the description below. The first step is to drain the coolant. Meanwhile, the coolant is being drained. I'm going to start by removing the EGR link cage, which is this one here, using a 13mm socket to remove from here. Forget about these ones because we're gonna replace the EGR with the new style, so you don't have to remove them from here. With the EGR actuator linkage disconnected, I'm going to disconnect the plug by pressing this clip right here and pulling it after that. With the electric plug out of the way, I'm going to get loose these 6mm Allen bolts. There is three, there is two on this side, and there is one on this side. Okay, the balls are completely loose. Now the EGR is, I can move the EGR. Um, the next step is to use a three quarter or 19 millimeter to remove this pipe. I'm going to remove it from there too, because I'm going to install the new style of EGR. And I'm going to remove this one too with a three quarter. And I'm going to remove it from right there, all the way in. We bought all the coolant pipes completely removed. I can remove these three bolts completely to remove the EGR completely from the bracket. The next step is to remove these 13 millimeter bolts. There is four of them to remove this bracket. So the bracket is completely removed. So I have the new EGR operator kit. Here is the part number. The new EGR clear kit comes with the bolt, nut, bracket, uh, the pipe, and the EGR ball, which is this one. This is the new style of EGR ball because the old one, which is this one. Detroit doesn't make it no more, so they updated to this new EGR. Um, we need to adapt the new EGR brackets and uh, bolts. The first step is to get this bracket. This is the EGR actuator bracket. And now I have this cover. This is a heat cover that goes here on the EGR actuator bracket. And I'm going to pull these bolts. You see these small bolts right here? These are the ones that are going to hold the bracket with the cover on place. With the three bolts on place, I'm going to tie them. Okay, the bracket is tied with the cover, as you can see. The next step is to place the washer and the bushings on the bolt like this, on all of the four bolts. And now I'm going to place the bolts with the bushings in these orifices, in all the four orifices. With all the bolts on place, make sure that the bushings are on place too. I'm going to place the other four bushings on the back like this. I'm gonna do the same with all of the other four bushings. I'm gonna place them on each bolt. Okay, with the bolts on place, as you can see, this, this is the way they're supposed to be. With the two bushings, the ball and the washer on this side. So, now it's time to install it on the exhaust manifold. To install this bracket, all we need to do is to align it and then tie the bolts. The bracket is on place, it is tight and secure. I will double check. Now it's time to install the EGR actuator. So we are going to need these three bolts right here and these two fittings. I'm going to be installing these two fittings right here. As you can see in these two spots right here, I'm going to remove these plastic covers, plugs, and I'm going to install the two fittings. With the two fittings on place, they're already tied. I'm going to place the three bolts in these orifices right here. 
So, and now I'm going to align it with the bracket and I'm going to tie the bolts. With the AGR on place, tight and secure, I'm going to remove these plugs. And now I'm going to trim the pipes, the new pipes that come with the EGR. And I'm going to install them. Freeze, I'm going to start the rear one, which is this one, here. Once the rear pipe is on place, tight it, double check all the time. Now I'm going to start the front one, which is this one. With the EGR actuator pipes, coolant pipes on play, uh, double check and all the walls are tight and secure. If everything is okay, the next step will be to place this linkage rod in here and the nut here. Now I'm going to tighten it. The rod is tight and secure, double check. Now I'm going to place the linkage here and on the other side here. And I'm going to place the two nuts over here and I'm going to tie them. Okay, the EGR linkage is on place. The next step is to place this little key clip then comes with the kit in this area right here with the clip on place I'm going to put the cable right here this is to secure the cable like this and now I'm going to connect the plug with the engine harness plug right here with the plug connected I'm going to place it right here in this orifice right here to secure it Okay, so the plug is on place, is connected, and all the EGR components, EGR actuator components are on place, tight and secure, double check all the time. So the last thing to do right now is to add the coolant to the system. Now it's time to start the engine. Now all I need to do is to get the engine go warm and do a region to fix these lights and pretty much this is all. So this EGR actuator replacement will be very similar to all DD15 engines from 2008 to 2013. For 2014 DD15 engines and up the process will be different because they have the new style of EGR actuator, the one I just installed on this engine. So the process of replacement will be a little different. So if you have any questions about this video, just comment below and I will answer as soon as I can. Please like the video, share, subscribe and thank you for watching.